Hi everyone, welcome to Interview Pro. Let's create our first GitHub workflow. I have created a brand new repository which has only a readme file for now. I'm going to use this repository to create our workflow. In this video, we'll go through the step-by-step -step process of creating a workflow. Keep your repository ready and follow along. The first step is to create a folder called .github. Then inside this folder, create a subfolder called workflows. This is the folder where all the workflows for this repository will reside. A workflow is nothing but a YML file. This file defines the workflow's configurations, including when it should run and what actions it should perform. Let's apply these changes to our repository. Before we create a YML file, let's go to Actions tab. So here, when we don't have any workflows created yet, GitHub provides an option to set up a workflow ourselves. And there are many workflow samples here, like uh, these are all the workflows available in the GitHub marketplace. For example, if you want to configure this uh, stale automation, then you can see that the GitHub has already provided some sample code for us to get started. In our case, we are going to create it from scratch. So let's follow the steps that we have seen previously. Let me add a file. First, we have to create a folder called .github. Inside this folder, we have a folder, another folder called workflows. Inside this workflows, I want to create our first workflow. I'll name this demo.yml. Now, in this demo.yml, we have to configure our workflow. So let's understand the structure of a workflow first before writing our code. Every workflow has a name. It's just a descriptive name given to identify the workflow. In this example, workflow name is hello world. Then we have on, push and branches. This section defines the event that triggers the workflow. In this case, the workflow is triggered on push event to the main branch. This means that whenever someone pushes code changes to the main branch of this repository, this workflow will be executed. You can specify any number of branches here. Every workflow has a minimum of one job. A job represents a set of steps that execute on the same runner. A runner is nothing but a virtual machine or a physical server that executes jobs in the GitHub Actions workflow. When a workflow is triggered, GitHub spins up one or more runners to execute the defined jobs. We'll learn more about these runners in our upcoming sessions. As this is our first workflow, I named the job as demo. This job is configured to run on the latest version of Ubuntu operating system. So the label of our runner is Ubuntu hyphen latest. Finally, within the demo job, we have steps. A job can have many steps. For demonstration, we have only one step named greetings. This step will execute a shell command to print hello world to the console. Let's apply this code in our workflow. I have copy pasted the same code that we have seen in the slides. Now commit the changes. Because we are pushing some change to the main branch, it has to trigger the workflow in the actions tab. So let me commit. Now if we go to actions tab, we see that the workflow is uh, triggered and it executed because this is a simple workflow. It executed in just 11 seconds. If you click on the workflow, you will see a tab called demo. This is nothing but the name of the job that we have created. Let me open code in the next tab and uh, open demo.yml. So this is our job name and this is what we see here. If we open the job, uh, first uh, GitHub will set up the job. So if you open this, you will see what is the runner version and what is the operating system. It's Ubuntu and this is the version LTS 
the runner image this is information about the runner and also the github permissions then we have our step which is greetings this is the step that we have created and it prints hello world to the console if you expand this uh, step with name greetings you will see the code that we have written in this step uh, we have written echo hello world by default it will use bash as the shell and it uh, logs to the console finally it will complete the job it will uh, uh, do the cleanup uh, process in this step so this is our workflow you can download the log you can uh, view raw logs here it will just uh, show all the logs in this format if you want to search for something like if i search for echo i can search it here it will search through the entire logs uh, if you want to see the code for this workflow you have an option called workflow file if you click on that it will take us to the demo.yml file you can see the code for the workflow so if you click on summary you will be taken back to the home page here we'll see the event that triggered this workflow since we pushed some code or committed some code to the main branch it has triggered the push event so this is our simple workflow i hope the concept is clear if you like the content please like share and subscribe to interview pro thank you